Okay, in this section we're going to talk about uh, running uh, WoW 7.0 Community Edition on the uh, uh, IBM i system. Um, I'm set up right here running um, with WoW from the i on uh, this browser. We're going to take a look at the key elements from an install and configuration standpoint that are needed in order to do this. First of all, uh, prerequisites. Um, this does require Java 6. Um, to take a look at that, you can get it from IBM. Go license program, go license program, option 10, display installed. And if we come down, you'll see Java 1.4, Java 5. Right here are the Java 6. So you need to have Java 6 on there. Get that from IBM. It's options 10, 11, and 12. Um, also the PACE environment is needed and that's documented. And you should be able to find that in, in there as well. So you need to have that. Um, when you get the download you're going to have a zip file. Unzip it and there's really just two things. You'll find the install instructions. You should read through that and go through that. This is about a half hour process. And there's a save file that's going to get FTP'd up to your 400. So to run Tomcat there is a library that we supply called PJ Tomcat. And in here are a bunch of programs and files and commands to allow you to run Tomcat on your eye. So couple of them. Let's just take a look. Uh, when I first start, I can do a start Tomcat and prompt start Tomcat server. And the default that's being shipped right now is Tomcat 5.515. So that will start the server. Once it's running, you can do library PJ Tomcat. Okay, it's already there. Display Tomcat. And you should see there's a series of jobs that are run in the JVM. Um, it runs under a user profile called Tomcat User. And you can see them running here. You can look at the job logs. You can do your work management stuff from there. Um, if you want to end the server in Tomcat. And now these do take a while. So when you run them, uh, you'll see maybe a couple minutes of delay while it's starting and stopping. Okay. So, PJ Tomcat library. Another key is display lib PJ user 7.0. Okay, this is a library that must be on your system and it contains your WoW metadata for your development environment. And there's a number of tables and files in here. Uh, whoop. Display lib PJ sys 7 .0. This is the WoW system library. This is where the WoW builder is actually stored. So this must be on your system. The user profiles that we're accessing it must also be available. It must be available to access this. Okay, next key piece is on the IFS there is a work link. There is a folder that should be there called Tomcat 5515. This is the location where Tomcat resources are stored. And in here you have a bin directory and this is a critical one. Um, Catalina400.sh is the startup script that gets executed when you do a start Tomcat. The end Catalina 400 is what gets executed. You can take a look at those and become familiar with, with what's in there. Um, the configuration or configuration has um, server.xml. This is what controls what port you're working with. You've seen that we started with port 8080. Find 8080 and you can actually come in here, change the port, for example, to 80 instead of 8080, and um, you can then, yeah, right here is the 
the port. So if you'd want to change the port, you can come in and do that. Just make sure it's not conflicting with anything else. That's the critical one in here. Also from a Tomcat uh, manager standpoint, Tomcat users has a set of users and passwords that are allowed to work with the Tomcat manager. I'll try to show you in a minute. Okay. Moving down, a uh, very important one, web applications. This is where uh, WoW would be installed. It is a web application. Um, right here is the WoW 7.0 folder. So this is uh, where the executable Java code is. If we go into that, there's a couple of folders. The data engine contains JSPs and images. Um, Web-inf, this is the uh, uh, the key startup. So this is where um, it's going to look to find the jar files, and jar files go in the lib directory. So if we go in here and look at these, these are a lot of the WoW 70 jar. Jar file is a zipped Java file that contains all of your Java code. Sometimes you'll need to change the user ID and password that WoW uses to access those files. Remember the libraries PJ user 70 and PJ sys 70. Those are accessed by WoW at runtime. And in order to do that, it has to be able to connect to the database. And this web dash web dot XML is what uh, controls the initial startup and in here you'll find you'll find a user ID user ID right here and a password right here and then these should be changed uh, once you get installed and up and running so if you change your user profile this would have to be changed to match that okay um, to work with this, there's also another uh, very important uh, folder called logs. If you're troubleshooting and you're having problems, the logs folder will contain WoW output and you can look at these various logs to see any error information, what's going wrong, and take corrective action. So that's pretty much it. It's a pretty straightforward environment. You have the option also of uh, mapping a drive which I do a lot of so that right here I can work with the same thing from a Windows folder perspective and to do that you're going to go into tools map network drive and uh, I've set up uh, I've set up to uh, map drive so that I can use Windows to move files back and forth um, as far as administering Tomcat if we take a look here Go into 192. So again, I'm going to put in my 8080 index.jsp will bring up the Tomcat Manager. Tomcat Manager then allows you to, to see various configuration information. Um, for example, right here shows that we're running with the IBM JVM at this level. We're running on a V6R1 system. And you can go out to the Tomcat uh, website for additional information on how to manage and, and to get details there. So that's it. That's sort of the key components of running Java on the eye.